the first video, the first picture, the first article, the first whatever is probably going to be shit. I know it's probably going to be something that you're not going to be really proud of. But more after the intro. <laughs> There's going to be more after the intro. And with that being said, hello, welcome back to the next episode of the self to World More Tactics podcast. I uh, looking forward to this episode, even though I really don't know what I should be talking about. And before I've started the episode, I've been kind of thinking about like, I'm willing to do something because I know that I should be doing something like that. I'm willing to do something that's working for some other people, that is good for some other people. I uh, don't know what I should be doing because sometimes when I'm going through an episode uh, afterwards, I kind of feel exhausted. I kind of feel like, nah, I'm not really exhausted, like I'm still having energy, but I kind of feel like, well, it is done now. And on some other days, it's completely the difference. Like it's completely like, okay, I'm willing to just have a, six, a 60 fucking minute episode. I think it also just highly depends on the amount of sleep that I got and also the just amount of food that I've eaten because I'm hangry. Like it's kind of the just normal thing. It's like, I don't know, it just happens. Everybody knows it and everyone is able to kind of um, feel about it as well. Like it's about being hangry. It's about being just hungry and therefore angry, which is hangry. Still, like I I'm willing to do something. I I'm just having to do something. I just, it's maybe about consistency as I'm just thinking about it it's probably going to be about consistency it's probably going to be about just doing what you should be doing and trying to find passion whatever you're doing because this is like the other side I've always been talking about like find your passion do what you're passionate about but you're able to find passion in whatever you're doing like you can be just I don't know working at fucking McDonald's which is kind of one of the shittiest jobs in society, I guess. But if you're just finding passion in it, then it is fucking amazing. Then it is fucking cool that you're working in fucking McDonald's. But so if you're working in McDonald's, like, not having anything against it, like, it's it's just better than nothing. It's better than not working. It's better than just being lazy and being just whatever and laying around all day long and just doing nothing. Like, this is fucked up. Unless you're just unable to do anything just because of your conditions and whatnot, like, I do not want to judge, you know, I really don't want to judge anyone, because there's so many different reasons for why certain people are doing certain things, you know, and most often, we are just lacking of context, really often, really, really often, because we don't have the context, like, we are not gonna just talk to everyone, and we are not actually able to talk to everyone most often, therefore, like, not judging is actually a pretty good way to also save up a lot of mental energy, a lot of energy that you could be using for something else, something that's way more important than uh, talking about other people and also thinking about other people. But coming back to the initial point, which is the first video, the first article, the first podcast, the first whatever, is probably going to be shit. The first ever recording that I had, the first ever just also like, if I'm thinking about like, and I'm a graphic designer, I'm just attending a graphic design school and I consider myself a designer. I've been putting out so much work also in the design space and only just about the podcast and whatnot in the past year. It is insane. Like I'm doing something every single day and it is amazing that I'm doing it every single day just because I've been learning so much and I've been able to just progress really, really a lot because the first postings that I had on Instagram or whatever, they have really been shit, really. The first one's like, I think the first one's just gotta be like just some generic shit. Like it's gotta be about some... Some, some stock images and some text laid uh, up just on top of it. And it's been like really kind of generic and shitty and really not good. And you shouldn't be doing something like that, you know, because it is way too generic. It is something that's not everyone's, like, chances, like, the problem is too many people are willing to do something that everyone's gonna like. But it won't work out. It really won't because there are too many things that are already, like, generic and, like, the public likes these things. There are too many things like that already. So please just don't do things like that. You know, it really doesn't make any sense. Also just in terms of your success and also in terms of like the shit that you're willing to achieve, it's not gonna work out if you're just doing something that everyone should be liking. You know, because if everyone likes it, nobody will actually love it. So there is gonna be a progress. You know, there's gonna be some work that you're hopefully going to put into it, that you're going to put into whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're thinking about, just putting in the work. And then you're also going to progress and then you're also going to be better. And then you're also going to be just, and you might also be just evolving as a person because like, I think I've done that. I, I would actually argue that when I started 
the whole journey here, you know, the whole process here, I think I've just been a completely different person. Maybe not complete, like, of course, I just look the same, probably, somehow. But, uh, like, like there are some changes. There are definitely some changes. There are definitely some things that I've been evolving into and uh, just basically yeah, evolving into, like, character traits, maybe. Like, it's, it's got to be about something like that. Also habits. Like, I've just been able to acquire new habits, new good habits. I think in terms of bad habits, there aren't too many there are probably gonna be some, some, but I'm not quite sure. Like, yeah, my aggression. Like, but but this is something that's like that's me. I'm dealing with it, you know. And I'm actually not really working on solving it just because it's, it's it's not really often something that's bothering me. I'm really not often. It is kind of something that I know about myself and accept about myself and just understand about myself as well. Therefore, it's like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But it's gonna take time. And it's probably also going to take some time for me. And this is also one of the reasons why I'm trying to figure out a way how I can be doing something that I'm, that I'm kind of fully passionate about. Because I don't actually know if I'm too passionate about whatever I'm doing here. I'm just doing it every single day. And on, on some days it's kind of like, uh, I really am happy about it. I really am looking forward to the episodes. And I really am just trying to put out something that's going to work for some people. Maybe it's just about judging myself too much. Maybe it's about just judging my work too much. Because... Judging your work actually is one of the dumbest fucking things that you could ever be doing. Because why? You know, the only judge you should be having is the people that are actually consuming it. No matter whom it might be. No matter. Doesn't matter. They should judge your work because these are the people the content is made for. And or the product and or the service, whatever it's going to be about, they should be judging it. They should be talking about it. They should be communicating about it. They should be just saying about it whether it is something good or, or not. And it's hopefully going to be something that's fucking good. It's hopefully going to be something that's fucking amazing. It's hopefully going to be something that these people are going to appreciate. This is also one of the reasons why it makes sense to have a small audience. Because you're then able to just make something that they really are going to enjoy. And that's amazing. If you're actually kind of thinking about it as, okay, you know, I'm able to do something that some people are appreciating. And I really hope that I'm able to find that as well. And I'm also really hoping, like, I think I'm gonna just be talking. I'm gonna be just having something like a podcast. But it's just really depending on what am I gonna do. Is it gonna be just about talking and reading through book summaries and reading through articles and those things? I wouldn't say so. I really wouldn't say so. Because it's, I, I kind of feel like that it's not gonna be something that, I don't know. I don't think that this is gonna be something that I'm gonna do for just the rest or something. But I really don't know. Like, it, it just... Things change. Things changes. And uh, it could also be the case that in the future there's going to be a new platform. There's going to be something new, which is, like, kind of their fifth sense, some kind of, where you can also feel people and whatnot. Like, you can't only see them. Maybe you can smell them as well. Like, it could be the case. You know, it really depends on what's coming up next. But uh, I have a funny feeling that I should maybe be going through some, some, some things here. I'm, I'm willing to just go through a few, a few, few, few questions here, and I'm not trying to just, I don't know, force myself to just be as fast as whatever. I'm trying to speak as clearly, whatever. I kind of tend to, and maybe this is something that's helping somebody out there. I kind of feel like that I'm tending to just forcing myself to just really put out the best episode there's ever gonna be and whatnot. And by doing that, I, I'm really doubting that I'm actually also doing that. But yeah, so the first question is. I lost a thousand bucks sports betting. Um, it's probably going to be about trying to find shortcuts. If you're just getting scammed or if you're just losing a lot of money, then it's probably going to be about scamming. It's probably going to be about shortcuts. It's probably going to be about some ways you thought you're going to make a lot of money just really quickly. Of course, sports betting is going to be something that's going to work, at least in my point of view. It is something that's it's, it's high risk, high reward. It works. It works as just also investing into stocks work, which are high risk and also high reward. It's the exact same thing. Like, it is gonna work. You know, it is gonna just do something. But yeah, self-discovery. This is my first post on Reddit, guys. And I'm from, and from what I've seen, the Reddit community is usually helpful and with a great sense of humor. So I hope you can also help me out. How do you discover who you really are? Because I think this is the only thing one needs to know about how... I uh, know have well life, whatever. I would say so as well. Like I think it just really 
is a good idea to just figuring out yourself and, and seeing what you actually are looking forward to doing. And I guess something that I've been thinking about is just for me, it's, it's somehow problem solving and or just trying to figure things out actually. This is something that I tend to like some, somehow. Like I, I, I really like to just try to solve a puzzle, try to do something, try to just, it's, it's really often about the, pros, the process. Just trying to, to come up with a good idea, trying to come up with whatever. It is something that actually like, this is also one of the just reasons why I've tried to pick lock things, like not houses, not just anything stupid or something, just some regular locks that I had been just laying around, like just some these normal locks. I've been trying to just pick them because I wanted to figure out how it is working. I've been able to do it with some bicycle locks and it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting and it's like a cool thing, you know. Maybe you should be trying it out as well, but like in a legal way, please. Um, but I would actually say that the best way to do so is just trying out as many things as you're possibly able to do. What should you be doing instead? Like, how should you know who you really are or what the thing that you should be doing for the rest of your life should be if you're not trying out things? I don't know. I don't know what's going to be it for you. I don't also know what it is going to be for me because I haven't tried out everything. But I'm looking forward to it and you should be looking forward to it as well. But I'm going to upload these two because I'm on a new section, which is a really good way to get some exposure for some people, uh, which is hopefully going to help them. You know, which is hopefully going to help them by just having some people that are actually then answering their questions. Who knows? I want to get better at talking to women and lose my virginity. I'm 22 and a virgin, but I've never had the strength to actually approach. I want to learn and improve on going to up some random woman and just getting their number. What's what I want to do better? I'm tired of being shy around women. Help. There's actually a few answers there, which is amazing. Try getting involved in activities where there are women your age. Talk to them like people. <laughs> Talk to them like people. Like, yeah, like normally it's like women are not really people and whatnot. Interestingly enough, my throat is doing really well today, but my nose is like just really... I'm also sounding a little bit nasal or nasal or whatever it is actually called in English. Like there's something, I know it, but uh, it is what it is. You know, it, it really is what it is with it and whatnot. But yeah, um, I, yeah, I don't know. I would just, yeah, I think it's good advice to just be in places where there are women naturally. I think it makes sense, but I, what I'm seeing there is that it is like some, some I should not be a virgin at the age of 22 kind of mindset, and I just, I don't think so. I think it's totally fine if you're just, I don't know, 30 and you're still a virgin. It is what it is, and like, you are you and they are them. And it is often going to be the case, it's, it's, it's the exact same case for just such a lot of things. Whether it is about this when it is about just some other shit, when it is about smoking or drinking alcohol, or all, all these things. Like, it's, it's not about, like, comparing yourself to other people. It is about you and not about them. Something really to remind yourself and also to remind myself on. How to get the best advice that's, that's true for free. Uh, ever been stuck in a situation, dilemma that you just could get off and desperately in need of advice help? I got you covered. I'm not gonna read it. Because I'm actually... But I'm gonna just upvote it. Because it might be something that's interesting to some other people. Would finding religion help? I don't know. It's, it would be the exact same thing as some uh, philosophy. Like Stoicism or uh, Platonism. Whatever. You know. What is the other one? Uh, Confucianism. Confucius. Confucius. Whatever. Ism. How to look for a mentor. Don't look for a mentor. This is my advice. Don't look for a mentor because probably... I'm not sure if this is the right sub to post this in, but I'll give it a try. What I'm looking for is a mentor of sorts. Somebody to help me live my life correctly. Is there even such a thing? I want somebody preferably older to have a professional yet friendly relationship with. I want somebody who will give me advice and help me learn what I need to. If there's anybody interested in this or if anybody can refer me to somebody that can do this, please let me know. Added, here's some info about me. I'm an 18-year-old female currently living in the Seattle area. I'm originally from South Louisiana and I plan on moving back down June 2020. I'm struggling with depression and have recently been diagnosed with CPTSD. However, I do believe I've grown... Blah, 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 blah. 
search in a lot of different places and see what resonates more with you. The one who gets you to take action, not stay only on theories and speculations, blah, 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 blah. Um, there is going to be a lot of interested people around that. There's going to be a lot of people interested in just having a mentor. But no, don't have a mentor. Because mentors don't scale. If you're able to get a mentor, as Seth, I would really advise you to check out How to Get a Mentor or something and Seth Godin. Check this out. It's, it's probably going to be better as what I'm going to say right now. But I'm actually going to recap kind of exactly what he's talking about and maybe adding some nuances that I'm thinking about as well. So he says that mentors aren't scalable, which means that there's going to be a bunch of people that are going to have some mentors, which is fine. And if you're able to do so, do it because it's going to be really valuable. But looking forward to them is not going to work out that much because like, it's going to be a trade basically. But what are they getting? Basically nothing. And why would they do it then? Because they are nice? Because they, they have been asked for 700 times and you're the 701th or first just because of that? Probably not. They're probably not going to do that. So at my point of view, we are all able to just have mentors in terms of books, in terms of all the media that is around. Try to look forward to those things. Try to look for certain people online that uh, you really enjoy, that you're really looking forward to just knowing something more about and all those things. At my point of view, it is better because we all can do that for free. Totally for fucking free. So why wouldn't you be doing it? You know, just watch content, uh, listen to podcasts of really successful whatever people you're looking for. Just do that, you know, and try that out. You know, it's probably gonna work out quite well. But yeah, uh, before my PC actually turns itself off just because it's running low on juice, um, I wish you the best health of happiness and also success, and I also hope that this episode has just been able to just give you some value. I really do hope. <laughs> I really, really, really hope. I really hope. But yeah, I'm gonna see you the next time, so please remind yourself on the fact that you should be a good person. And three other questions are, why are you here, what are you trying to change, and what is bothering you the most? Ask yourself these three questions, they are gonna hopefully show you your purpose, and maybe even a business idea. And I'm going to see you the next time at least. So, so please consider subscribing and or uh, to the podcast and to the YouTube channel as well. And I'm going to see you the next time.